As oceanographers studying climate trends, Sjoerd Goedkamp relied on data from NOAA, the American National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Recent cuts and layoffs by the Trump administration mean important information about oceanic temperatures and circulation are no longer available or are about to disappear. Which means that we, we cannot monitor uh, one of the biggest threats to our society, which is uh, the continuation or decrease of this ocean circulation and the warmth it brings to Europe and the, the rain it brings to the Amazon and all these related climate impacts from this circulation that is about to change due to climate change. An expert on weather events in Antarctica, American scientist Tridata, moved to the Netherlands last year, also to protect her academic freedom. The phrase climate change and even the word climate have been removed by the Trump administration from government websites. Antarctica doesn't care. Like the, the climate change is, it is happening. I think that there is a, a strong possibility of a lot of scientists coming here. What is even more frightening is that now people who are in the academy, who are professors, are also being muzzled. To protect as much as they can, Dutch universities are now creating a large data center. Scientists say that decisions made in Washington are blinding the world for the most urgent risks of our time. Data and research meant to save people's lives and prepare the planet for what's coming next are being lost. And the effects are felt way beyond just climate research. Another target has been information on vaccines, a dangerous development, says virologist Marion Koopmans, because a bird flu virus spreading to mammals in the United States could soon affect humans. That's really a concern. You see a virus that we know can trigger pandemics behaving in a very worrisome way, expanding in a way that uh, really should get a lot of attention and that attention is not there. Long seen as the Global Center for Science, the United States is increasingly disappearing behind a firewall, as scientists describe it. Traveling to the United States is becoming more like traveling to China, like you go with an empty laptop and uh, uh, you make sure you didn't say anything uh, wild about Trump before you go there. Despite the threats, scientists say this should be a wake-up call for Europe, where a sea of data will become available if it starts investing more heavily in research and science. Stepfasen, Al Jazeera, Tessel, the Netherlands. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.